Hello to all of my loyal subscribers and to those of you who are new. Today we're going to talk about how light switches can control an outlet. In an older homes, you might have a situation like I have in my house in a few spots where uh, there's a light switch and it controls uh, the bottom portion or the top portion of an outlet where a lamp would get plugged in and that would be the only lights you'd have in the room because there are no ceiling lights. That was the case on, well they still do it on some new homes, but predominantly in older homes. So you may want to figure out how to disconnect the switch from the outlet, or maybe you want to add one. You want to add a situation where you want the light switch to control the outlet because you want the lamp controlled by a switch. I'm going to show you how all of that works right here on the workbench. And if you have any questions, you can just ask me at the end of the video down in the comments below. All right, here we are on the uh, dry erase board, which I've somehow destroyed with who knows what. But anyway, I only use it about three times before I wrecked it. We've got um, a light switch. I mean, here's the light switch here, and here's the outlet. Okay, so the, the reason why you're able to control one portion of this outlet with a light switch is this little spot right here. I'm going to use this marker to see if you can see this this little piece of metal here you see this sticking out right there that bridges the gap between this screw and this screw and it's the same thing on the other side so when you bring your hot and your neutral in from the power source we can let's draw the diagram here power going this way right and the power goes to this screw looks like the brass screw and the neutral goes to this screw on this side if you if this piece was connected like I just showed you this little piece here in between both the top and the bottom would get power because the power would flow from here down to the next one okay and then if you wanted to you can then go and attach another black and a white wire and go to the next outlet in the room and so forth you can do it that way now the way this thing works with a light switch is if you wanted to control this portion of the uh, of the outlet with the light switch here's what you would need to do I'm gonna need to erase what I just did here so you would bring your hot in to the box and you'd have a wire nut and then from there you would have one going here to this hot lead and then you would have another wire going to through the wall to where your your light switch is and you'd have the black and also remember it's just one wire we can use the black wire here okay and then you'll use the white of the same wire going to this screw and in both situations you've got this is again this is hot coming in you flip the light switch on and then it's hot going back to this screw here and then over here you can have another wire nut and from here you can go down to this one and down to this one here like this or you could leave the uh, the piece of metal on here and let them bridge the gap okay so the way this, again, you, then you'd break this off with a needle nose pliers. You bend it back and forth until this breaks off and then until this breaks off, okay? Now, um, then the power is only going to go to the bottom because we, we got this piece broken off, right? This one is always hot and this one won't be hot until you flip the switch and it allows the power through the switch and back down to this one and this is where you'd plug the lamp in okay now let's say you want to eliminate this and you want this outlet to not be working off of the switch anymore if that's the case what you would do is you would um, open up the box you would unscrew this wire nut and you take this these two pieces, these, these two wires out completely and you're going to replace this outlet with a new one that still has this piece that still has this piece attached and if you do that 
then once you bring the hot lead in here and your neutral here, the whole thing will be powered. Now let's say you have an outlet that you want to add a switch to and you don't, and you want it to be controlled by a switch. I'm gonna have a follow-up video that will take you through everything you need to know about how to do this with a wireless application without actually having to tear up open, tear open your wall. It'll be a wireless switch that you can control any one of these with and a lamp. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in a, in a follow-up video. So now if you have any questions at all about how this works and how to disconnect your switch from an outlet or you, any questions on how you can add one to this, because again, you can just do what I just showed you, which is add a new outlet, run a line through the wall and up to a switch, and now you can control this if you'd like to do that. If you want, have any questions about adding or removing the light switch, its connection from an outlet, just let me know in the comments and I'll be glad to answer you. Thanks for watching today, everyone, and I hope you have a great day. If this was helpful, please hit that like button down below and uh, it'll help my uh, algorithm. Thanks very much, everyone. Have a great day.